man. Turn around and out on this one. And I'm, I'm, I'm pleading to you. Please, if you say you're born again, then be a light for somebody else. Be an example for somebody else to lead them to Jesus Christ. And not get commercialized with the world and with the churches that have no direction, no sense of being resurrected or born again. Just a, a play going on, a, 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 a excitement, a commercial. <laughs> That's all that is. Nothing. And it's a shame. And, and people come, and then they look at me like, I done lost my mind. You done lost yours. Because you don't know what the books say. That's the problem. Because the false prophets are not preaching the gospel. Preaching another gospel. You better know that. Am I finished yet, brother? No. Go ahead. What profit is there if you gain the whole world and lose eternal life? Uh -huh. What can be compared with the value of eternal life? Nothing. Nothing can be prepared. But most people are comparing that with everything else. Nothing can be prepared with this one. So this Easter Sunday, hopefully I've tried and in the time I've had, to perhaps to show you what the resurrection part of this is about and how you fit in. Now you examine your life and what you're doing and pretend for a moment with me this is the last day you have. And you're going to stand before God, the Father, and His Son, in which God is a consuming fire he's talked about. Yes, awesome God. Yes, and you're going to stand before him and his son and his holy angels. And you coming down along the aisle in this one. And Jesus waiting. God the Father sitting on his throne. I'm ringing. God the Father sitting on the throne. And he waiting to judge you. What you bringing? Say, well, I believed in Jesus. Well, he's going to be standing right there for you to tell him. You're going to stand right there. And if there's no example of your life shown when you come, and then he's looking behind you because he won't see what kind of light you've been for a dying world, what kind of salt you've been, if anybody else been influenced by you or you just, it's to yourself. Huh? You made no difference to your family members, nobody. They took you as a joke because you are not committed to the things of God. You're more committed to money, things, career than you are to the things of God. You are a joke. See? See? Brothers in the gang are committed to die for the cause. You're not committed. That's what he's looking for. Where were your commitment at? Huh? He's looking. And you got God the Father sitting on the throne. And he's getting ready because if Jesus don't say, that's my girl, that's my man, huh? that's my woman of God, that's my man of God, they've served me. Huh? And them big old angels standing there, they've been lifting weights for 2,000 years. And they're standing there waiting for you. Because you ain't going to run no games that hour. None. If there's no example of a born-again experience in your life, you can say what you want. Because you resisted the power. See, the teaching that Satan has undermined out of the church, see, with the power of the Holy Ghost, see, you've undermined that out of the church. So most people don't have no power. They are wimp Christians. They have no power. Amen, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I, I'm, I'm going to agree. Amen. Because you're supposed to have power to be able to express yourself, your opinion, be a witness, be a light. Huh? Well